They've been recreated and splashed across our scenes in Hollywood blockbusters. But while they're all just actors. Expecto Patronum! Christchurch is home to the world's very own fantasy character. I'm the only wizard in the world that has any reason to be called a wizard, and that I'm trained at university, appointed by a vice chancellor, and since 1990, appointed by the government of New Zealand as an official wizard. So I'm a real wizard and not some idiot wearing a hat who's a hippie and taking me drugs. But wind back 40 years, he was the first academic lecturer in sociology theory in Australasia. His home was the Cathedral Square. We had share his views on all sorts of topics, from political to moral causes. Then in 1990, the Prime Minister appointed him the official New Zealand wizard. He even has the driver's licence to prove it. And he was also awarded the Queen's Service Medal in 2009. By 1995, Wizards Week commemorated his arrival to Canterbury. A metal sign hung outside of the cathedral, letting people know when he'd arrive. And he'd travelled to Australia with Christchurch Mayor to promote the city. He was even featured in local guidebooks as a central character to check out when coming to the city. Recognised as a larger-than-life ornament of the city, a living work of art, a tourist attraction. Oh, great spirit, look down upon these young children and send them flying dreams. But the earthquakes tore Christchurch down. The forbidden city that lay behind the CBD cordons for two years kept the wizard away from his home. The place where he stood for many years is shattered and in ruins. And look at the way it's been abandoned for the church. They've let the birds fly through. It could have been protected with tarpaulin, but they show how much they hate that building. It's really sad to look at it. Knowing how important it is to the people of Christchurch, it's our logo for the city. The whole city was built around it when it was first built. It's really shameful. While the city chops and changes, there's still one thing that remains the same. I don't change, the world does. I never change. That's why people like me so much. I'm the one thing left in Christchurch who has not changed a bit. I'm just as same as I was in 1974. 40 years ago I came and I'm the last thing left of the old Christchurch. Me. Mayors come and go, prime ministers come and go, bishops come and go, and I don't. So I'm the icon now. He's loved by the public, but the city has been ignoring his plea to remain an icon and an attraction of Christchurch. If I'm not in the, not in the guide, but how, when can I speak and where can I speak? No one knows I'm doing it. So the tourists will never know, even though they all ask questions, where's the wizard of the town? Or where's the wizard? They can't be told because the council does not have any interest in what I'm doing at all, zero. But his spirit isn't going anywhere. The magic of the wizard will remain in Christchurch. Waiting in the wings are his apprentices. This wonderful fellow turns up, Hi. and he's halfway there already. Ari, the apprentice, only a few weeks ago now, but he's been watching me for a long time as a Christchurch lad, yeah. and he decided it was for him too, that he could do what I'm doing, and likes doing it, likes people, likes being mysterious and a bit weird, and loves the costume. I'm a musician, studied musician. I'm very interested in philosophy and uh, and anthropology and many things like that, but he's been pulling me up. I've had to learn a lot more about history, especially history of Christchurch. Had to get to know a lot of people, had to be comfortable with cameras and photos. I think literally thousands of photos have been taken of us since I began. He stood as a controversial figure in the city. He still wanders around in his long black cloak and pointy wizard hat taking the tram from New Regent Street to the shattered cathedral, adored by tourists as he passes. We were just so excited to see him because it's the first time we'd seen him. We were here 11 years ago and we saw him in his little red back of the front car and just, I heard, we had heard that he was back. It was really cool. Yeah, it was also a bit funny. Yeah, he said that he did this spell that apparently gave us flying dreams. It was amazing, and I heard that he was around, and I heard that was a really good thing for kids to see. No quake will stop the wizard. He will always remain the icon of Canterbury. For Canterbury Life, Emma Cropper.